Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a mini Tesla coil. Just a warning, this project can be very dangerous because we're dealing with high voltage. So be safe and be smart about it. So for materials, you're going to need a stripped off AC power cord. You can use the cord from any old AC powered appliance. You're also going to need about a square foot of aluminum foil, this ion generator, there's a link in the description, and it costs around $10. You're also going to need two spherical objects. I'm using two Easter egg tops, but a wiffle ball cut in half would work as well. Also, two toilet paper tubes, two 2 inch by 2 inch pieces of cardboard, and lastly, some tape, and also I'm using some liquid rubber. First step is to take your spherical object and coat it with tin foil. Do this for both of them, and when it's done, it should look like this. Take one of your toilet paper tubes and thread an alligator clip through it. Then connect it to the tin foil like this. And do this for the second one as well. And secure them both down with some tape. Next, take your ion generator and strip off the ends of all the wires. There should be three of them. A red one, a white one, and a black one. Take your stripped off AC power cord and the white and black wires from your ion generator and connect all the wires like this. So the white and black wires of the ion generator connect to the AC power cord. Next, take one of the alligator clips coming off your toilet paper tube and connect it to one of the wires on the AC power plug. Doesn't matter which one, because it's alternating current. Now, these wires right here are going to be carrying over 100 volts of AC power, so we need to make sure we insulate them very well. So, make sure to use lots of tape, and I'm also using some liquid rubber. Once you've finished insulating everything, take your other alligator clip leading off your toilet paper tube and connect it to the red wire and make sure to insulate this connection as well. Now, go back to the first tube you did and shove all the wires up inside the tube. Then, rip a hole for the wires to come out. Then tape the ion generator to the side like this. Once you've got that taped down, tape one piece of the 2x2 cardboard to the bottom. Now, tape the other piece of cardboard to the bottom of the other tube. When you're done, everything should look like this. I went ahead and painted mine, but we're now ready to plug it in. If you touch the two aluminum parts together, a spark will jump between them. This is a really fun thing to experiment with, and I'm sure you'll find many cool things that this can do. If you like this video and want to see more, then please subscribe and like me on Facebook. Thanks for watching.